video we are going to talk about work done by a constant force so here let's say we have a table and we have placed a block of wood on it now suppose we want to uh, put a force in the forward direction that is that direction so on doing that let's say the box the block moves to some distance on the table itself now the displacement that the box is covered in this case will be this distance that is uh, we have denoted it by the letter s now here the force is in that direction that is forward direction and the body has also moved in the forward direction which means that the force and displacement are in the forward direction or in the same direction now here there is a force which has been applied to the body so it satisfies the first condition that we have seen in the previous video of scientific conception of work there were three conditions that is first was that the force has to be applied on an object the second condition is that the displacement uh, has to be made by the object because of the force f so the object must get displaced because of the force f so here in this case the uh, the force f has caused a displacement s on the block so the second condition is satisfied the third condition is the angle between the force and displacement must not be 90 degree so here we see that both of them that is the force and the displacement are in the same direction so the angle between them is 0 degree it's not it's nowhere close to 90 degree at, at all so here this activity is said to be a work or we can say that a work has been done on displacing the block of wood from this position to the new position by applying a force f so there has been some amount of work which has been done in this physical activity now the amount of work that has been done here is equal to the product of the applied force and the displacement made by the wooden block so in other words w which is the work done will be equal to force multiplied by displacement so w will be equal to f into s where f is the force applied and s is the displacement now we said that this work is the work done due to a constant force here the force that we have applied is of a particular value that is it is a constant value it is not changing from time to time it's a fixed value which we have applied to the block and the block started moving because of the force so that's why we call it work done uh, due to a constant force or work done by a constant force now let us know something more about this physical quantity which we have just now found out that is work done now work done in a particular physical quantity in a particular physical activity has a particular magnitude it means that it has a particular amount of work that has been done on the body but this physical quantity work has got no direction at all it is just an amount of something or an amount of work so we we know that any physical quantity which has magnitude but no direction is said to be a scalar quantity so here this physical quantity which is work done is a scalar quantity now let us find out what is the unit in which we can measure this physical quantity so let's say force be 1 newton and the displacement caused by this force let's say it be 1 meter or in other words we can say if uh, let's say there is a body to which we apply a force of 1 newton and as a result the body moves a distance of 1 meter now in that case what will be the work done work done will be w equals f into s here f equals 1 newton and s equals 1 meter so w will be equal to 1 newton into 1 meter which is 
one newton meter now this unit newton into meter has a particular name which is called joule so here the work done is measured in terms of joule that is equal to newton into meter so the unit of work done is joule now this word is derived from a scientist to honor a scientist and uh, whose name was joule so the unit of work done is found to be joule so we can also define one joule as one newton into one meter that is one newton meter in in other words we can define one joule of work as the amount of work done on an object when a force of 1 newton is being applied to it which displaces it by 1 meter along the line of action of the force which means that when 1 newton of force is applied to a body and as a result it moves it does it gets displaced by 1 meter in the direction of the force then we say that the amount of work done in that case is 1 joule so this is how we define 1 joule of the uh, amount of work done on any object now let's say for uh, let's say for case 1 force is 0 that is we do not apply any force to a body then let's let us see what happens so here force equals 0 newton so work done will be equal to f into s which is 0 into s so work done turns out to be 0 so here we saw that the work done on an object is 0 when there is no force acting on it now this sounds somewhat similar to the first condition of work done that we have seen in the previous video of scientific conception of work the first condition was that there has to be a force applied onto an object for, uh, for it to be called as work done or for the physical uh, activity to be called as work. So when there is no force acting on a body then the work done was found to be zero. So this verifies the first condition that we have seen in the previous video. Now let us take the case 2 where let us take the displacement of the body is 0 that is s equals 0 meters. Now in that case what happens to the work done? Work done will be equal to w equals f into 0. So this also turns out to be 0. So work done equals 0 even when the displacement of the body is 0. So this means that the work done on an object is 0 when it is not displaced as a result of the force applied. So this is our second condition put in another way. The second condition was that there must be a displacement in a body as a result of the force. So as a result of this force there was no displacement in the body. So the work done was zero or in other words the, there is no work that has been done on the body when there is a force applied and there is no displacement at, uh, of the body at all. So this verifies our second condition of work done. So with this we have come to the end of this video. We have learned in this video about the work done due to a constant force and we have found the formula of the work done to be W equals F into S and the unit of work done was found to be 1 joule which equals 1 newton meter. And we have also verified the first and the second condition of work done. So with this, we, will, uh, we have come to the end of this video and I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.